Okay, welcome back. Just a minute to go for the pre-open session. The first rates will appear on your screen shortly. Chandan Tapari is derivative and technical analyst at Motilal Oswal uh, Financial Services. Chandan, good to have you with us here. Thank you very much. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a lower start as the SGX indicated. The pre-open rates are also now starting to show that. First rates on your screen. Uh, but what after and what kind of trades uh, should one take now? Good morning, Prasant. The earlier Nifty was moving in between 17,442 to 18,088 zone. But now in last trading session, it broken that level decisively with built up of short position and huge cold writing. At the same time, the FI's long short ratio has gone to 20% and your India VIX is approaching to 20 levels led by weakness in the global market. So now the range which was in between 17,442 to higher zone is going to shift lower towards 16,800 on the lower side. So looking at the same, we believe that now 17,442 could act as a hurdle for the downside decline to us 16,800 levels in the Nifty index. Similarly, the Bank Nifty index, which recently made the new lifetime high of 31,840, has seen the huge short built up with long liquidation in many banking stocks. It was moving in a rising channel, but it has broken below the same and also fallen below a key important moving average. So now the 40,250, which earlier used to act as a support, is going to act as a hurdle. And downside, we are opening to us 38,888 level. So earlier support in Nifty and Bank Nifty now going to act as a hurdle at 17,442 and 40,250 in Nifty and Bank Nifty respectively. Now looking at the stock specific approach in this market, we need to understand. No, Chandan, wait, market... wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll just come to you. I'll just come to you for stock specific ideas. I uh, just want to uh, make a point here. The dollar rupee is opening uh, very sharply lower. 81.54 is a very sharp decline. This is coming on back of what happened on Thursday and Friday already. You know, once 80 caved in, uh, and you know, uh, the chatter was that uh, the RBI had spent a lot of uh, uh, sort of dollars to defend 80. And it almost became a futile exercise. So, uh, you know, once 80 went, after that, it just sort of uh, perhaps uh, triggered some kind of dominoes impact or whatever. Mm -hmm. And from 80 to 81 half now, the move has happened in actually uh, less than 48 hours in terms of the trading uh, uh, moves. Uh, so this is a big move happening on the dollar rupee, 81.52. It, it, uh, you know, the reason that's important is because it, it leads to those algo trades uh, uh, where financials become weak all of a sudden. Uh, and sort of IT relatively holds out, though of course IT has its own issues. So in that sense, it will be important to see the actual market opening. Uh, sorry, Chandan, go ahead with your stock ideas. Thank you, Rajal, for updating the dollar because actually that is the reason that Indian market is behaving and FIS flow is turning on the sell side. There are two concerns in the Indian market. First, the FIS flow, and that, second is the dollar index and the USD INR. So because of that, some downside is opening in both the indices, and one need to be stay cautious in the market for next couple of days. Uh, looking at the stock specific, most of the stocks are looking weak. If I look at the entire 195 FNO stocks, so recommended to sell on AU Bank. This stock has given a breakdown of the consolidation bend of last couple of days. Shorts were added with cold writing activity. So recommending to sell on AU Bank with a stop loss of 655 and expecting it to go down to a 610 level. We have negative view on the most of the metal name. So recommending to sell on Hindalco, which is making lower top, lower bottom. One can sell with a stop loss of 408. Stock has potential to go down to us 380 level. Only one buy idea in this market that is buy on Sun Pharma because earlier this stock was finding hurdle near to 900 zone. Now the same started to act as a support zone and being the pharma, some sort of resilience or buying defensive nature could be seen. So recommending to buy on Sun Pharma with a stop loss of 895 and expecting it to move to us 965. So on cautious note, only one buy, two sale and weakness in Nifty and Bank Nifty index. Okay, thanks a lot, Chandan, for that. Well, it's looking pretty weak.